Okay, this video is about uh, a 670 Predator engine on the uh, new Mud Skipper uh, surface drive unit. A picture of everything here so you can see it. Uh, a little bit about the motor. Uh, it's been modified. The governor's been removed. This little air box modification to get a little more air into the air box. Uh, carburetor's been jetted up a couple sizes. Got this custom exhaust I made on there. Um, these things uh, really help the performance of this motor out. I was uh, running it on a long tail, um, and it you know worked pretty good. But that long tail kind of wears you out when you when you drive it. Uh, so I decided to switch over to this setup. So far it works pretty good. I know people are going to want to know what it took to get this this motor on this frame. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> um, the bolt holes down here uh, on the uh, on the engine were just mismatched a, a, a little bit. So I had to go through there and run a drill bit through there to just clearance those. I'm using the, uh, it's got two different patterns here. This one's a slot and then there's two holes here. So I've got it moved back as far as possible. Um, it still didn't quite line up right in here, so I had to put like three or four washers in there to get that correct. Um, this is the uh, chain tensioner. Um, one thing I've noticed that is when you start tightening this, it takes the whole lower unit and it's kind of cocks it on an angle. It still works okay, but it's putting the chain on a little bit of an angle and then it changes your your drive angle down here, which is uh, pretty important, I've found out. Um, as far as the angle goes, um, right now I've got the boat in the garage. It's completely level on the floor. I've got a level right here. Uh, as far as setup goes, a good place to start is get your boat level. And then you can measure from the from the the floor to the transom. That's at 19 inches, and then back here at the shaft from the floor right behind the prop, it's right about 19 inches. This particular boat has got a 15 degree transom angle. Um, I'm running this motor. You put an angle finder on it right now with the with the boat level on the floor. This angle in the shafts about uh, 12 degrees. It seems to run best about anywhere from 10 to 12 degrees. I've gone as low as 5. It got way too much up on the surface. It was real hard to drive like that. A little lower you lose a little RPM uh, but it makes it easier to drive. But it drives really good at about 10 or 12 degree angle. Um, the chain it says on this chain case here I'll maybe open this up in another video but um, they say to pack it with grease. Well I did that and then after about probably two hours of running I opened took this this cover off and looked at it and uh, it threw every bit of grease off of the chain uh, water does get in here this is not sealed there's water can get in here there's a drain hole in the bottom I think water can get in here uh, possibly up through here um, anyway some water gets in there um, when this boat is in the water um, the water levels about about right there I did have to, this is meant to run on a short transom boat. My boat is a 20 inch transom, tall transom. And I had to notch. I took three inches out of the transom and I got this plate here. That gives me another inch and a half. So I'm running at about 15 and a half. But it is set back five inches from being bolted onto the transom as well. Uh, so it all works good. You just got to get, get this prop running right about wherever the bottom of your boat is. Um, and uh, it seems when I'm running and I look back, I can just, just just see this orange bushing and it's just right at the surface of the water. So the props are running about, I don't know, probably about half in and half out, I'd say. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, over here, yeah, there's one other thing I had to do. Um, this right here was barely hitting. Um, so I had to go, I took a flapper wheel and just ground that down just a little bit to get it so it would sit flat. Now the bolt pattern on this case here to the back of the motor, um, it was, I don't know, somebody said it fit a, a, a Predator 420. I know the 420 because I have one of those as well. 
the uh, 420 and the 670 have the same bolt pattern uh, on my long tail coupler but this was for some kind of smaller bolt pattern maybe like a 200 cc engine or something so I did have to transfer the hole pattern from the engine to this there was plenty of room there to do it and then I drill those holes out to get that mounted but those are the things I've done um, and it's running pretty good it'll go 22 miles an hour um, up river that's with me and the wife in the boat you can see my boat here a little bit this boat's uh, it's an old stick steer boat 1964 it's four foot wide and just under 15 feet long it's a pretty heavy haul um, you know, it's probably 350, 400 pounds, so this setup would be, uh, you know, perform better on a, on a lighter aluminum boat, but I, I really like this hull, and it, it works good for me. Um, like I said, it goes about, right now, I'm running the nine, nine and a half inch prop, and I get about, uh, about 22 miles an hour upriver with quite a bit of stuff in the boat and the wife in there. Um, downriver, it goes a little faster. Uh, 23 sometimes 24 and with this nine and a half inch prop it turns uh, right about 35 3600 rpm I tried the nine it, it, it spins faster but the boat runs slower it, it the nine worked best on my long tail but for whatever reason this thing does not like the nine inch prop it, uh, it, it slows down so I think the true fix for this is uh, if I want to get this thing going faster is to get a, a, a bigger sprocket down there on the lower end um, this the chain drive set up with the water getting it getting in there I'm, I'm not sure about that how long that's gonna hold up uh, only time will tell you know I may eventually try to maybe switch over to a belt and uh, try to get the uh, the gear reduction down I think I could probably there's probably five mile an hour and 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 prop and gearing in this this thing the way it is right now so that's going to be one of the next things I mess with. But anyways, hope this video helps some people out and that are maybe wanting to try this. And uh, I'll try to get a video of it out running in the water. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's it for now. Bye-bye.